Hello, Miladis. Hello, Luis. Hello, Hello Carmen Lobos. How are you? Hello, Hi, Rosa. Morning. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Yes, teacher. I am ready. All right. We're going to wait a couple of more minutes to give the other students a little bit of more time to uh, enter the classroom. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, David. Good evening. Hello, Miladis. Good evening. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're going to wait hello, three. Hello, good evening. Hey, hello, Carmen. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. We're going to wait uh, like um, three more minutes to let the other students come into the class. Okay, so just okay. relax. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get started. How are you today? How do you feel? Fine, teacher, thank you. Hello, Roberto, good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher, I have e a great day today. Excellent, how was your weekend? Oh, I had a very interesting weekend. Mm -hmm. I went to the beach, I, I knew Surf City Way. Oh, really? How is Surf City? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very, very nice. Um, but the traffic is terrific. Oh, really? Terrible, terrible. Okay. The traffic is terrible. It's terrible, yeah. Oh. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Really, there's a lot of people or why? Why is so much traffic? Why, why do you think it's so much traffic, Roberto? ¿Por qué piensa que hay tanto tráfico? Oh, because many people eh, want to learn surf city right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the hot. It's yeah. the, the hot thing in town. <laughs> it's cool. It's yeah. cool. <laughs> like Miami. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Roberto, for sharing. All right, guys. Um, does anybody have any questions referring to the information that we were practicing in the previous class? Do you have any questions um, about the vocabulary? Do you have questions about the pronunciation 
or questions related to the grammar? Yeah, teacher, I have a question about grammar. It is in the use of preposition on, at, and in for uh, four times. Oh, okay, when very we good. can use on or when we can use in or mm -hmm. when we can use at. On, at, in. Okay, so we use on whenever we're going to give a holiday. I mean, uh, a specific day, for example, on Monday, on Tuesday on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, right? All the days of the week we use on, or for example, you say el fin de semana, on the weekend, okay? Do you understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. And uh huh. Now, ever, excuse me, teacher. Ever do you write uh, the day of the week with capital letter? Ever? Always. Always. Oh yes. You always write the days of the week in capital because it's a proper noun. Also, the months. Now, in the case of months, you say, for example, in January, in December, in June, right? We don't say on June, we say in June, right? Or if you wanna give a specific date, for example, uh, let's go to the movies on Friday, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26th. So when you're giving a specific date, we use on, right? Or I go to you, I go to the US on Christmas, right? So you say on Christmas, on Thanksgiving, whenever I'm referring to a, a, a holiday. Now, when I'm talking about at, for example, I say at, 6 a.m., right? I wake up at 6 a.m. So I use at to express a time. Or a hey, see you at lunch time, right? Or see you at noon, for example. Any questions? No, teacher. All, everything is clear. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to do a little review uh, with the simple past beaver, because I know that this is a topic that we started last week, but it's a big topic, so we need to review it. Vital. At this moment, uh, does anybody have another question related to the information that we were looking at? Not sure. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue. So in the previous class, we were looking at this conversation, where were you born, et cetera, et cetera. This is a review. I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. 
Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of being. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject we, then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the U.S. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. First, we need to add the subject day. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement and the uh, US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with being about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Sorry, DJ, I don't listen. Oh, sorry about that. No, my question is at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this topic?
No? Nobody? No. No, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, um, I would like for us to, I would like for you guys to give me one example uh, of a sentence or an example of the be verb. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. One volunteer, one volunteer that would like to give me an example. May I, teacher? Mm -hmm. We were classmates in the last model. Very good. We were classmates in the last module. Perfect. Select somebody, Roberto. Okay, uh, Carlos. Carlos. Sorry, sorry. Um, Go ahead. Yes. Um, Sería. Um, I am was mm -hmm. born in El Salvador. I was born in El Salvador. Perfect. Thank you, Chair. Okay, very good. Go ahead, Carlos, uh, select somebody. Okay. Um, Gabriela Gomez. Gabriela Gomez. Gabriela Gomez. Hi, Gabriela Gomez. Hi, Gabriela Gomez. Hi, Gabriela Gomez. No, Gabriela Gomez. Okay. Alguien más que quiera participar? No escuchamos a Gabriela Gómez. Mi teacher. Ok, mi teacher David Ariola. No, Luis Monzón. Ah, ok, Luis Monzón y después David Ariola. It was a pleasant day. It was a pleasant day. Awesome. It was a pleasant day. Very good. David Ariola, let me have an example. My mother was cook chicken. Mm, my mother was, was cook was cook chicken. Chicken the the last Sunday. No. The last Sunday. Mm, 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 mm. You can say you can say my mother. Mm -hmm cooked chicken c-h-i-c-k-e-n okay. -I chicken last weekend this would be the correct way to express this sentence you can say my mother was happy mm, yeah, okay. my mother was happy last weekend you can say that mm -hmm. all right another person david select somebody okay herson herson go ahead herson yes good evening good um, evening i wasn't born in guatemala i wasn't born in guatemala I wasn't in the negative. Perfect. Okay. Well, it looks like everybody understands very well this topic. So let's go ahead and move forward. We're going to look at the knowledge check. Add the correct form of the verb was, were, wasn't, weren't to complete the conversation. The first one says, my family and I mm, all born in South Korea. 
my family and I mm, all born in South Korea. And you can write where. Very where? good, Roberto. Where is the correct answer? So for this activity, I would like for you to work in pairs and complete the sentences with the correct B verb. Any questions about the activity? No, Any, no questions about the activity? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Okay. Let's work in pairs and then we are going to check together. Okay, teacher. Everything is clear. Let's do it. I can see that Karen Mulato, Gerson Marquez, Jimmy Torres, and Rosa Vasquez no entraron a la sesión privada. Um, eh, Rosa, usted está trabajando con eh, David. Vamos a poner a David con Luis. Luis estaba trabajando con Gerson. Y Milades la vamos a poner con Estela. All right. Ah, pues cada quien ya tiene su pareja. Um, Rosa Vázquez, Gerson Márquez, and um, Karen Mulato. Pueden trabajar en grupo. Okay. Muy bien, ya hace falta que cargue. ¿Cómo va la plataforma? Ahorita. Uh, la plataforma. Ya terminé. Solo fue con los apuntes. Solo me falta la sesión 5. Ah, vaya, qué bien. Ya está en lo último, entonces. Sí. Excelente. Muy bien. 5.2 dijo el teacher. Sí. Ok, dice la segunda. We weren't born in TBS. Yes. Three. Uh, three, I was born. In the city, um, he, um, um, I was born in the city of in town, and my brother was born there too. Okay, excellent. I sería <clears throat> que por lo menos ya uno va entendiendo un poquito. Sí, yo estudia, estaba estudiando en otro lugar y la verdad que yo siento que es casi igual lo que había aprendido con, bueno, el método. Ajá. La verdad que sí está bien. Teacher, ya terminamos nosotros. Ok. Yes. Let's do it. Did you finish uh, the first activity? 
Ok, so la primera era were, y la segunda, ¿qué le puso? Es la cuatro punto... Uh -huh. Cuatro, cuatro pun punto... Mm, no, 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 ya terminamos la cuatro, ahorita estamos en la cinco punto dos. Ah, ok. ¿Y ahí cierra la 5.2? Sí. Ah, ok, sí. Ok. La primera era where, la segunda es weren't. Ah, ok, weren't. Ok. The next is was. Okay, is everybody finished? Yes. 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 Oh, okay, excellent. Let's look at the first example. Um, the first one, ¿cuál era la número uno? Where. 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 ¿Cuál es la número Where. dos? Where. 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 So Where. Number two is Weren't. 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 Uh, number three? Was. 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 Number four? Weren't. 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 Number five? Were. 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 And the last one? Was. 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 Okay. Let me have one volunteer. I want you to read the first sentence. Un voluntario que me lea la primera oración. Marilyn. Go ahead, Marilyn. Okay, teacher. The first is my family and I were all born in South Korea. Excellent. Ahí sería sa, South. Okay. South. South. South Korea. South. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, David Arriola. Number two. Yes, teacher. Thanks. <clears throat> we weren't born in the U.S. Excellent. We weren't born, born in, in the U.S. The US. Thank you. Uh, let me have Carlos Crespin. Number three. Thank you, teacher. Yes. I am was born in. I the am. City. I am or I was. I was. Uh -huh. Born in the city of Incheon. Oh, no sé si como city. city, Incheon. City. city. City of Incheon. Very and my good. brother was born there too. Excellent. Okay. All right. The next one. Another volunteer. The next one. All right. No, no, no. Somebody else. Alguien que no ha participado. Me, Alguien teacher. Que... Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. My parents weren't born in Incheon. Very good. My parents weren't born in Incheon. All right. Estela Diaz, la que sigue. Jimmy, usted hace la última. They were born in the capital so very good they were born in the capital Seoul. excellent all right jimmy torres the last one in south korea my father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher perfect perfect okay any questions referring to this vocabulary or referring to the pronunciation of these words? Questions? No. Okay. No, All right. Let's look at the next one. Now, 5.3, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of the be verb. Additionally, you will also learn how to express 
years. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular y responder preguntas con el pasado del verbo ser. Además, también aprenderán a expresar los años. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of be. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus <laughs> plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the U.S. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was. Or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays. Okay. Now for this activity, what we're going to do is look at the discussion at the bottom right here. And I want you to give me five questions, five questions, and answers. So you're going to give me five questions with five answers, and you are going to add it here in the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? No, no sure. No, what, teacher. What are you going to do? ¿Quién me puede decir qué vamos a hacer? Five questions. Five and questions. Past mm -hmm. tense of to be. Mm -hmm. With answer. Okay, With but answer. Teacher, but only just no question or we can write WH? Ah, you can write question. WH questions. Both. Uh-huh. Yeah, the okay. more you practice, the better it is. Ready? Let's go.
uh, I can see that uh, Rosa Vasquez, Karen Mulato, Gabriela Gomez, Gerson Marquez y Marlene Armero no entraron a la sesión privada. Three. Mm, were your parents born in USA? No, they weren't. Okay. Um, Four. And where were you born? I were in El Salvador. Creo que le faltó algo. Pero me, me preguntaste. Where, ¿Dónde nació? Where were where, you? You born. You born. Ajá, ¿dónde naciste? Uh -huh. I were. No, I was. Uh -huh. I was in El Salvador. Yes. Okay. No, no, no. I was born in El Salvador. I was born. Excellent. Yes. I was born. I was in El Salvador. Es yo estaba en El Salvador. Pero I was born in El Salvador. Yo nací en El Salvador. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Fine. What city were they born? They born in? Sorry. What city were they born in? Creo que no le comprendí la, lo que me preguntó. Okay, cambiamos entonces. Where, where were you? Espérame. You study? Study? Where? Where were you study? Espérame que hay una cosa que aquí está. Doble A. Do, la primera es, digamos, W H word. Que ahí puede ser where, o puede ser was, o puede ser what. Luego está el was o el where. Y luego está yeah. el subject y luego un complemento. O sea que al final no puedes poner un verbo. Después de, por ejemplo, donde yo te pregunté, was, espérame, where were you born, where were you study, no puedo poner eso. Porque te digo, ¿dónde estudiaste? Where, where or where es, es el verbo auxiliar. 
Ajá. Pero si yo te digo, where, where you go, perdón, where, where you study, creo que está mal. ¿no? Porque te estoy en dónde estudiaste, es la idea, ¿no? Pero creo que yes. está mal por la, por la, ¿cómo se llama? La forma de cómo te, tenemos que formar la oración. Entonces sería, where were you? Leave your parents, por ejemplo. Oh, yes, I was. Ok. Uh, I said, Lia, where do your parents live? Where, where? where do mm -hmm. your parents live? Mm -hmm. Where do your parents where live? Do, where, do your parents live? Where, where do your parents live? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I read my question. <laughs> you finished? Okay. Eh, compártalos con Rosa Vázquez. Okay. All right, guys, I can see that you guys Hola. are. Hi. Hello. Okay, guys, I can see that the majority of the people are finished. Uh, let me have one volunteer. I would like for you to share your examples. Un voluntario para que comparta sus ejemplos. Please. Ok, Luis Monzón levantó la mano. Eh, por favor, comparta sus ejemplos con la clase. Was yesterday Monday. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were he and Mary good student? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Was he tired last night? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Was the work workout easy to do? Yes. It was no, it wasn't. Was the window closed? Closed. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Um, select somebody. Oh, Carmen Lobos. Let me hear your examples. Carmen Lobos. Let me hear your examples.
No. Okay. Hi, can you give me your examples? Yes. I, um, were you born in El Salvador? Where yes, were you? I was. Were you born in El Salvador? Yes, I was. Perfect. Was, was your mother born in 1989? No, she wasn't. Okay. Where were your father born? He was born in Honduras. Uh, would you say where were your father born or where was your father born? Where, oh, yes. <laughs> where was? <laughs> uh -huh. where was? Where was? Where was? Because Sorry. it's singular. Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead, let me have Carlos. I know you want to give your examples, Carlos. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Jubar, uh, Jubar in the U.S.? No, I wasn't. Mm -mm -mm. You born? No. Were you born? Were, Were you, you born? Sorry. En la pregunta siempre va el verbo to be primero y después el sujeto. En la oración, primero va el sujeto y después el verbo to be. Ok, thank oh, you, okay. Carlos. Thank you. Very good. Ok, guys, yo sé que todos quieren participar, but we have to continue. Now, let's look at knowledge check 5.5. We are doing section 5.5, 5.5. Now, in this activity, we're going to be looking at the sentence. Select the best answer to the question. The question is, where were you born? Her name was Yumiko in Hiroshima, Japan. She was really friendly. I wanted to improve my English. I grew up in Tokyo. It was a little scary. What is your answer? In Hiroshima. In Hiroshima, Japan. So I would like for you to take a couple of minutes and identify the best answer for each question. Do you understand? Yes. Ready, let's go. I can see Karen Mulato no entró, Rosa Vasquez no entró, Marilyn Armero no entró, Karen Mulato, Marilyn Armero no entraron a la sesión privada. No me aparece el mensaje. Ah, en serio. Usted estaba con Carlos Crespín. Voy a poner a Carlos con Carmen. Ok. Y usted puede trabajar con Karen. Trabajen en pareja. Karen, ¿estás allí? Karen, ¿me escuchas? Por no poder estar hablando. Ah, ok. Ah, pues algo le pasa a Karen. Ok, Karen. Ad was lighter, Scotty. Who was your real friend in school? Her name was Chumel. Five. What was he? She liked. She was really friendly. 
Why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my end, my English. Okay, good job. Um, y esto quizás no, no, eso es lo que teníamos que hacer, trabajar acá. Yes, yes, yes. Um, entonces solo hay que pronunciarla, la conversación. Yes, of new. Okay. Empiezo con la primera. Okay. Where, where will you work? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Oh, what you feel like? Brief day of school. It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Yumiko. No, Yumiko. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Her name was Yumiko. Sí. Um, question five. What was he, she like? No. She what was, was friendly. Okay. She was really friendly. Number Why did six. you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. Yes, correct. Okay, finish. ¿Saben cómo está la procesión, teacher? Yes, it sounded okay. good. Yes, it ah. sounded good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right. Hello, Marilyn. Hi. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? <laughs> Fine, and you? I'm great. <laughs> ¿Quién está con el corazón duro ahí? Ah, los vecinos están algo alegres o tristes, quizás. Ok. Ah, ni modo. Bye. Okay, um, is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, let's look at the answers. Let's check together as a class. Let's look at the first one was in Hiroshima. Number two, where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Perfect, I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day it's at of school? It was a little scary. It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Number four, who was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. Her name was Yumiko. Number five, what was he or she like? She, she was, was really friendly. She was she really was friendly. friendly. Why did you take this class? I went. I went to improve my English. Perfect. Let me have two volunteers. One student is going to read the question and the other student is going to respond to the question. All right, Roberto and Gabriela. Roberto, ask the questions 
Gabriela respond to the questions. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number one, Gabriela, where were you born? Where did you grow up? Uh, no, the first one, Gabriela. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day of school? It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Jumiko. Name, name. Her name was Yumiko, sorry. What was she like? She was really friendly. Why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. Perfect, perfect. All right. Go ahead, um, let's look at two more volunteers. Roberto, select somebody. And um, Gabriela, select somebody. Roberto, select somebody. Gabriela, select somebody. Okay, teacher. Mm. I select uh, Rosa Vasquez. Rosa Vasquez, you will ask the question. Okay. Carlos Crespin. And Carlos Crespin, you will respond to the question. Rosa Vasquez, ask the question. Carlos Crespin, respond to the question. Okay. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did, where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Grew, oh, you, grew up. Oh, what? Your first day of school. It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. What was she like? She was really friendly. Why did you take this class? I want to improve my English. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Does anybody have any questions referring to this information? Any questions referring to the vocabulary or the pronunciation of these vocabulary words or something like that? No, teacher. Just, just teacher, I have a question. When, yes. When you use a WH question, mm -hmm. I can respond with... Um, only in, in past or I can use a deal, for example. Uh, it depends. For example, if I say, uh, where do you live? It's in the present. Um, I live in Escalon. Uh, where did you live? Last year. ¿A dónde viviste el año pasado? I lived in Escalón. Yo vivía en Escalón. So it depends um, if the question is simple present. You are going to use the simple present of the verb. But if the question is in simple past, you will use the verb in the simple past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Very good question. Thank you. All right. Another question from this section, guys? Okay. We still have three more minutes. So we're going to look at lesson objective 5.6. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using negative contractions. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usas abrevaciones negativas. Listen, please.
no se escucha. No se escucha, Doesn't like tea. Can you hear it now? These aren't their yes, sir. Yes. Are and she doesn't. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural. Can everybody hear? Contractions. Let's get started by analyzing yes, the yes, chart. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay. Now you're going to go ahead and move forward, guys, with whatever you're going to be doing on the platform. I got to let you go, and we continue tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.